Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see. It is really bright, so I think I'm gonna put, put these sunglasses back on. Um, so I had some stuff I had to take care of on Long Island today. And while I was here, it is a gorgeous day. It's like 50 degrees going up to 70 later today. It is beautiful out. So I figured I would go to one of my old stomping grounds for when it was beautiful out. So I am here at the Norman J. Levy Park and Preserve. They have some animals here, but mainly it's a wetland preserve, which is just a great place to just come and walk around and be a little bit with nature for the, for the morning or for the day or for however long you want to be here. But the most interesting thing about this place it used to be a dump and I don't mean that like you know metaphorically and I'm not being facetious like this this was the town landfill and still directly next to it is still used as the town landfill but no more they converted like the mountain they like treated it they did like wetland preservation and built it up and this was like think back in like 98 if I'm not mistaken and they turned it into a park and wetland preserve, which is pretty stinking amazing to reuse landfill space like that and make it safe and thriving. So let's go for a walk. There's a little bunny. Yeah, it's a bunny. Right in the parking lot, there's a bunny. You're, oh, two bunnies, three bunnies. You are greeted by, with. You are greeted with wildlife immediately upon arrival. Let's go say hi to these bunnies. Oh, oh, they hear me coming. I'm not stealthy. I am really not stealthy. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll leave you be, little bunnies. Good morning. Good morning, bunnies. It says, stop! No motor vehicles! No exit. And it's the park. And the phone number and the park hours, which change, so you always want to check what the park hours are. But today it's 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And no pets, sorry, but there's a lot of nature here. And no bikes or smoking or alcohol or drugs or drones. No drones. This is both a map and the history of the park. So this has changed since the last time I was here. So this says that the Norman J. Levy Park and Preserve designated forever wild, protecting its ecological integrity for future generations since 2006. And this area where there are animals, there's goats in here. There used to be a small goat enclosure out by the parking lot, but they have given them much more space. This is probably like three or four times as big as the goat enclosure used to be. So this is wonderful. I'm so glad the goats have the space now. Let's go say hi to this goat. Hello, goat. Hello, goat. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just enjoying the day. I mean, that's the way to do it, Mr. Goat. I hope your day goes well. Yeah, I, I plan on having a good day. I'll make the most of it. I'll see you later. Bye, Mr. Goat. And they have this bit of enrichment here for the goats to climb on, and it's called Sleepy Hollow. And there's a goat in the back by that shed. I bet some more goats are inside. It's still early. But look at this. Look at this beautiful day. But do not feed the goats. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Oh. Those goats are so chill. They were just relaxing, not a care in the world. So I know it said not to feed the goats, 
But there was also another sign that explained that the goats eat the overgrowth. So I think they take the goats on a little, you know, lunch tour and let them walk around and, and chew on the overgrowth. So that's what they, they feed on. Isn't that cool? Bats come in many sizes. The largest bat, the flying fox, can have a wingspan of six feet, while the smallest, the bumblebee bat, is as large as a thumbtack. So I guess there's more bat information here. But we're gonna walk up this road. The other thing about the location of this park is, like I mentioned, it used to be the landfill, but it's also right up on the highway. So you might hear some traffic because I'm literally walking up the hill and it runs parallel to the highway. Yeah, so I don't know if you could see through these trees, all these cars zooming by, but yep, right up against the highway here. So it's also good to know there is a way to the top where you don't have to take steps. You can just continue on this path all the way. Um, it's not the most direct route, but it can be done. Or there are different areas where there are some steps, like over here, that'll lead you up higher. And let's see what this says. Well, this is telling us about vegetation. So there's existing vegetation and trees and shrubs and vines and wildflowers and weeds. And it tells us about various types. I was walking along and I saw this on the plants and I just found this really interesting because it's not quite flowers, not quite a blossom, not seed pods, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but they kind of remind me of like fireworks. So I'm gonna call them tree fireworks. Yes, tree fireworks. So I was walking along and this bird right here, he is making quite a ruckus, but he is a beautiful sounding bird. I think he's having a conversation with some birds across the way. Because you could hear there's, there's other birds chirping in the distance. So was anyone able to recognize what kind of bird that was? It's likely one of these. I just am terrible at recognizing birds. It's not my forte. I found another bat information sign. So bats are really fast and can reach speeds of 60 miles an hour. That's really cool. They're speedy. As I'm walking along, I see these type of signs quite frequently. So it's good to know that if you're up here and you have a problem, there's identifying markers. So if you need to call for help, you, you know exactly where you're at. So at the top of the hill, you're rewarded with this sort of like double pond with a bridge that goes over it. And there are a lot of uh, birds and fowl that come up here. You can see there's some geese over there nibbling on the grass. But also, there's these birdhouses all over the place up here. There's one there. You can see some in the distance over there. Behind me, there's another one. See that one's there. And we, we swivel around, there's the pond right here. So because of all the birdhouses over here, you do get a lot of birds as well. Hello geese. Are you friendly geese or are you aggressive geese? I do not know. I approach with caution for I am a friendly human. Are you a friendly goose? Hello. Hello. How goes your goose day? Is the grass tasty today? Do you recommend it? Should I order it on the menu? I think this, this goose over here would definitely recommend the grass. He says definitely order it. More than the appetizer. Get the full entree size. It's great. Um, is that a black swan? There, there's a black bird. He just dove in the water. I don't know what kind of bird he is. I'm gonna try to get a little closer to where this black bird is. I don't know if it's a black swan or not. Um, help, help me try to identify this bird. 
Yeah, he swam way over there. He was, like, I was just over there, and I walked down here to see him, and he swam to the total opposite side. It's like he knew. He knew. But, but, I no longer think it's a swan. Um, now that uh, I'm seeing him more. Whoa, what's he doing? I think there's definitely some fish in there, and he's looking for lunch. But not a swan. Not a swan. Also in the distance, you could see Jones Beach. So you can see that little point on the right side. That is that uh, like tower at the roundabout of Jones Beach. And then to the left, that is the Jones Beach Theater, where you can go and see concerts, which I have been to many. Yes. So this little map shows you the different trails and how many miles you would walk if you complete each different trail. And there are ways that they overlap and combine, so you're not restricted to just one, but it's good to know. So for me, I came, I started here, and I came up here, and I saw the goats here, and then I turned and I came up, and this is where those stairs were, or go straight, and I went straight, and I turned around, and now I'm here. I found a human sundial. Look at this. So that's over there. And the idea is that you stand on the current month and raise your arm and the shadow will show the time. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of cloudy, but the sun is out. So let's, uh, let's see if this works. So it pointed to 10 a.m. And what time is it? 10.26. And it doesn't have like in between, so I'll take it. And just for a better idea how it's set up, so this is what I stood on and it has the different months. So I stood over here on April and I put my arm up and it pointed to 10 o'clock. So this next area that's up here is a very interesting wayfinding. Uh, it's a very interesting wayfinding station. Um, and it points to some random stuff in my opinion, but I understand why it points to these things so on the ground it's this gravel and you'll see there's kind of arrows built in and a sign telling you what you're looking at so i'm going to go to the middle and we'll start at the right and we'll spin to the left so the jones beach theater so i showed this to you earlier but in the distance the jones beach theater is that way um, and obviously jones beach And the next arrow points to the Babylon landfill. So if you recall, when I first started, I explained this used to be the town landfill or the dump um, <laughs> in the vernacular. So what remains of the landfill is right there. Then the resource recovery plant. So that's what we're looking at over here. Okay, then we're gonna turn to the next arrow. And now we're facing the Manhattan skyline. So the trees are in the way, and once I finish with the arrows, I will show you the Manhattan skyline, because yes, you can see it from here. And then this last arrow points to the Oceanside landfill, which is a couple miles that way. But let me come out of here and show you the Manhattan skyline. So this is gonna be very difficult to see because it's kind of hazy today. But if you could see those two white water towers, if you look past them, the skyline is back there and I can actually see it. It's if you look literally in between them, I can see one World Trade. So the World Trade Center is closer to the left water tower, um, probably about a quarter of the way in between the two water towers. Um, again, I can't tell if you can see that on the video, but I can see that in real life. I can actually see that. This is a great little area right here. So you can go up on this bridge and there's this windmill and some running water that goes into the little pond. And then this pond goes under the bridge and across. And I saw some geese taking off and landing from here before. So now I'm coming back down the hill. I came up the hill on the west side. So I'm coming down the hill on the east side, just so I get a nice overview and get to see everything. 
much quieter on the east side except for the birds but they should be here because you can't hear the highway on this side so that highway noise the hill is muffling so it's a much quieter descent than the ascent i had but this is great like what a great place to just walk around they have these benches like right there and if you need a break you just pop a squat otherwise you just keep going and it is just glorious and then as the the spring progresses all these trees here will fill up and we'll have some more shade but not yet not yet but soon soon we're getting there like this tree is like i'm ready i'm ready but this tree it's like i don't know i don't know are you sure Oh, this plant desperately wants it to be springtime. Look at this. Look at the buds. It's like spring, please. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to burst open. Also, at different places through the trail, there are these fitness stations. So this one is for the sit and reach, and you have this bar and like a bench. So you could do some exercise. And then over here, welcome to the pier. There is a fishing pier over here with quite the view. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Oh, there's a little boat going by. The wind is something terrible, but the view is something amazing. So over here is a turtle nesting area. That's right, turtles come up on shore over here to lay their eggs. Isn't that amazing? So as I was doing sort of my final loop around the, the park, I found this little out of the way place. So it's down, there's this flight of stairs down here and it's just tucked out of the way. It's on the side where the highway is, but there's like a, a creek over here. So let me, let me show you what this is. Let me show you what I found. Yeah, ignore my coffee, but there's this creek and over here's some benches and some trees and shrubberies. And this is the stairs I came down to find it. So I was walking along and there's like little lizards. I think it's like an animal. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Lizard. I did see a lizard buddy over here somewhere. I don't know where he ran off to. His little lizard friend is over there. He's like peeking out of the twigs. And I hear some rustling this way. Oh, there's another one. This area is teeming with little lizards teeming with them because I've seen like four of them because four is a team apparently honestly I'm a little surprised that I found all those lizards I think they're animals but I mean lizards are cold-blooded and it gets pretty cold in New York so how do they survive in the winter where do they go I mean they're not migratory where, where what do they do how do they stay warm um, I don't know if you know let me know because I'm very curious about that. <laughs> this was my walk through Norman J. Levy Park and Preserve. So it's, it's always a great place to come. It's very chill, it's relaxed. Lots of nature, lots of animals. We saw some goats, we saw lizards, we saw some bunnies. You know, way back when they used to have um, like little um, hens, like peahens. Um, I did not see any peahens today, so. That might be a thing of the past, but definitely some bunnies, some lizards, and some goats. 
Um, and birds, lots of birds. So I had a great time. It's you know just a great place to get out of the city, get in a more serene area for a little bit, and just enjoy the day. It is beautiful out. I am ready for spring, I'm ready for summer. Time is now. So with that, I am done for today, and I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.